going on guys? Ultra Anastasio here with FlightPath.com. Now I've actually done a few DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise videos in the past, mainly around the attachments that go on it. Now this isn't the Enterprise version, this is actually just a Mavic 2 zoom, but it used the same frame, the same drone pretty much, except you were able to add on a few of those attachments. And since I did that video in the past, they actually came out with another version which had a thermal camera, which I got really interested in, wasn't able to test that one out. But luckily enough, I was able to get my hands on this one to test out. This is the new Mavic 2 Enterprise, pretty much like the version three, I guess you would say. The new Enterprise Advance has an even more enhanced thermal camera compared to the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. But this is new because it also has all the attachments that the previous ones did. It also has thermal, just like the previous one did. And now it has the thermal plus the RTK. And the main reason why I wanted to get into, or at least test out the new thermal and enterprise version of it a little bit longer than I did before is because of the fact that if you're coming from something like this, a regular camera drone, is there much of a learning curve or is it difficult to transition into an enterprise platform where you're able to do a lot of other things? It kind of opens up the door for a lot of other opportunities in the thermal industry, uh, as well as some of the you know, land surveying, mapping, and things like that. And if you're gonna be doing things on that side of drones, you definitely wanna look into something like this. So I just wanted to see how much of a transition it would be for someone like myself, who has just been a video and photographer for many years, to test out, get this thing up and running, and just see what it's like to get into that other side of drone. So I will be doing more testing on the thermal and the RTK, as well as I have a bunch of videos on the other accessories on it. This video, I got this in the mail, so I just want to open this up, show you exactly what comes in the Enterprise Advanced Kit. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Aldrin Anastasio. I do a lot of drone tech tips, tutorials, and product reviews right here on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and also hitting that bell to be notified when I post new videos. So let's just jump right into it. This is the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced Kit. It does come in this hard case from DJI. All right, so once you first open it up, as you can see, everything is packed in here, pretty much ready to go from DJI. And we'll just kind of go from left to right. Just want to give you a quick overview of what comes in the kit. All right, starting from the left-hand side, we do have the smart controller, the well-known smart controller that's been out for a few years now. Really hoping that DJI comes out with a new version. Same battery hub, of course. And it is using the Mavic 2 platform. So as you guys know, the Mavic 2 platform is probably still, even up to now, three years later, probably the best and most reliable uh, platform or lineup of Mavics that they've come out with. And right here up front, we do have the new thermal camera as well as zoom. So put that right there. It does use everything the same as the Mavic 2 lineup. So you are able to interchange the batteries if you previously had uh, uh, the existing Mavic 2. Also has two extra batteries, so three batteries total. And if you are looking at this setup in general, I'll make sure links are down below in the video description. Like I mentioned, these are very specialized types of drones. So you're gonna wanna look at the types of uh, kits that are available for it. On the top right, we do have the standard Mavic 2 charging brick. And here on the right hand side, we have all of those accessories. And if you guys haven't seen my video on these, I made videos on every single one of these. This is the speaker. So the modules are able to attach right above the drone. This is the speaker, which is really cool because if you hook up the speaker to the drone, you're able to then record messages on your smart controller. Those messages can be projected through the speaker here while you're out there. You can actually record in the field as well. Uh, or also preload some audio onto here that can just repeat if you wanted to. If you guys haven't seen my speaker video, it was actually a really good video. Tested it out at the beach. I was communicating with a surfer. So if you guys haven't seen that one, make sure you guys check out the links above as well as down below in the video description. Next one we have is the spotlight. So if you wanted to fly around, not with the RTK module, but with a spotlight, you're able to do so as well. Extremely bright. And I actually did a video with this spotlight right here made a little role play, hid a bag out in the field, and I want to go look for it with my drone. Also, it's on my channel. If you guys haven't seen my spotlight video, make sure you check the links above as well as down below. And the last one we have here is the beacon. So if you are flying late evening or at night, you need to be able to see your drone as far as that light coming off your drone at great distances. So this is what the beacon is for. All you do is the same thing. You put it right here on the very top of the drone and now this is able to flash and you're able to see it at great distances. I did a test with the beacon as well, so make sure you guys check out that video above as well as down
down below. Now, when I first shot with the Enterprise on those first videos I did, it had this camera here, a little smaller camera. It was a zoom 12 megapixel camera, smaller sensor, one over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor. Now with the new advanced, we do have a larger camera, larger sensor, 48 megapixels, half inch CMOS sensor on this one. And the biggest thing of course is that new thermal sensor right there on the very front. So if you are trying to get into things like public safety, doing some sort of inspection, building inspection, energy inspection, or even wildlife protection, you wanna survey an area, you wanna map out an area, have this thing run those routes all the time, with thermal, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do with something like this. Now with a new camera, you are able to get 640 by 512 thermal resolution. And with the thermal camera, you're able to get 16 times digital zoom. Now with the standard camera on here, you do have 48 megapixels and 32 times digital zoom. And for accurate positioning in the air while you're surveying, this is what this is for, the new RTK module. It sits there right up top. Now it's really cool about the Enterprise just in general. So if you haven't seen these attachments before, all you have to do is just pop this thing off. It has a micro USB plug here at the very bottom. And if you wanted to put on the speaker, all you do is pop the speaker on there. Through the interface on the smart controller, you're now able to interact with people by using the speaker. You could you have pre-recorded audio. Uh, uploaded to the smart controller or you can actually record it directly into the smart controller and then project it out. You're not able to do real time audio so you can't really have it up in the air and speak into it and it'll come out. You actually have to record a little clip and put it on there. And like I mentioned, if you guys haven't seen my surf video on this thing, pretty cool. Make sure you guys check out those links above as well as down below in the video description. And because we're gonna be doing some surveying, we also have a bump up in waypoints. The original one had 99 waypoints. This new one has 240 waypoints. I'm not even sure how many you're gonna need before you actually run out of battery, but uh, they did bump up the waypoints on that thing, so I do wanna test that out. And there it is, guys. Just wanted to do a quick first look, for me at least, of the new Enterprise Advanced System. Like I talked about before, I've done a bunch of videos on these modules right here, these attachments. So make sure you guys check those out. I'm just really excited about using thermal for the first time, as well as having that precision accuracy with the RTK. I think it's just something that DJI really positions for you to make a pretty seamless transition. So if you're used to a DJI platform already, I think jumping into this space might not be as difficult as you might think, and that's what I'm hoping to test out. So if you guys are interested in seeing my progression into this area, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Alter Nastasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys next video. Take care.